Jamil. Ahmed. Uh, I had a little talk with uh, him yesterday because I couldn't <coughs> find his paper. Uh, I understand his paper is already published. Uh, he has found a very interesting way on how to educate the middle and the lower class, especially when it comes to learning a language. So uh, his paper uh, title is Technology System Language Learning in Saudi Arabia with Special Reference to Mobile Phones. Teacher's Perspective. OK, thank you very much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. A pleasant welcome to this presentation. I'm Dr. Jamil Ahmed, Associate Professor in Applied Linguistic at King Abdulaziz University. I've authored three books, and I'm also freelance editor of numerous ELT and Applied Linguistic journals. Now, uh, before I proceed, I would like to thank Dr. David and Dr. Davis for organizing such a wonderful conference giving us opportunity to exchange our expertise and gain global knowledge of numerous disciplines. Now, uh, today's title of presentation is Technology Assisted Language Learning in Saudi Arabia with a special reference to mobile phones, teacher's perspective. I would like to take the feedback from this uh, uh, respectable audience, how many of you are strongly in favor of using mobile phone for English language learning or for academic purpose? Should we raise our hands? <laughs> yes, yes, could you please raise your hand? <laughs> so this is a nice uh, response, okay? Uh, this is the thrust of our uh, focus of our presentation. Internet capable mobile phone, the most powerful, flexible technolo technological device. You can use it anytime, anywhere. This is the main point. Now, importance of technology assisted language learning in general and mobile assisted language learning in particular in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is different from what it used to be in 20 years, uh, 20 years ago. Now you'll find a drastic change is undergoing dramatic technological change in the curriculum of the universities, is integrating technology in all its curriculum. And it has established e-learning and APAC. This is a project to meet the current challenges of the higher education. It encourages pedagogic shift from teacher-centric approach to the learner-centric approach. And every classroom is well equipped with projectors, internet-based computer, and smartphones. So there is a drastic change in Saudi Arabia. Now, so far as mobile assisted language learning is concerned, it's a new trend. And it marks really a revolution in e-learning system. Because it's very handy, it's flexible, you can use it anytime, anywhere. The teachers and the students both are enthusiastic about learning English through mobile technology. I took, them, I took a survey in Saudi Arabia, and I found a drastic change in using mobile technology for academic purposes. <coughs> Internet capable mobile has precedence over all technological devices because it's handy and it's user friendly. You can use it anytime, anywhere. Now, actually, I, I conducted a survey to analyze the performance of mobile assisted language learners and the performance of non-mobile assisted language learners. I found a significant difference between the performance of mobile assisted language learners and non-mobile assisted language learners. Now, I, I will 
see this one, the performance of mobile assisted language learner is this. See, 90%, uh, 59%, 5 percent of mobile assisted language learner, they obtained 100 percent marks in language learning in vocabulary. But none of non-mobile learners obtained 100 percent marks. 10 percent of mobile assisted language learners obtained 90 percent marks, but only 5 percent of non-mobile learners obtained 90 percent marks. And now see this drastic improvement. 30% of mobile assisted language learners obtain 70% marks, but only 10% of non-mobile learners obtain 70% marks. Coming to this the down area, now you'll find that none of the mobile learners obtain 0% marks. But 5% of non-mobile <coughs> learners obtain 0% marks. None of the mobile learners obtained 20% marks, but 10% of non-mobile learners obtained 20% marks. So now see, you find the drastic change. Now what was the reasons behind that? Now you'll find the significant difference why. Now the first reason, I took the feedback from the learners, they said, learners frequently revise learning materials on mobile phones. What I did, I prepared the materials for mobile learners according to the limitations of the mobile phones, the screen of the mobile phones, and I also gave hands out to non-mobile learners and to computer-assisted language learners. So, the mobile learners, they frequently re revised, and this survey was conducted on working class Saudis. They were employees. So whatever little time they got, they used this device, they open it, and they practice in, in the office hour. Whatever time they got it, they make the best use of it. Learners found mobile learning more friendly and exciting. <coughs> This is more handy. This, this, this is the feedback of the learners. Uh, because of these aforesaid reasons, mobile learning is more worthwhile than <coughs> computer assisted language learning and other devices. Now, this was the perspective of the teachers. See, 90% teachers, they agreed that internet mobile will be a better substitute for working class Saudi learners. Now, 95% reported that parallel textbook or EFL materials should be prepared. 94% bilingual dictionary should be uploaded on internet mobiles. 95% recurrent use of internet <coughs> mobiles for learning English will improve integrated language skills. So now you saw the perspective of the teachers and the performance of the learners. So our recommendation at the end, since mobile language learning is very useful, so this is the right time for the course designer to design the course according to the limitation of the mobile screen. You can say we can prepare e-book, electronic book for mobile learners. Uh, parallel to the textbook, okay, because the learners frequently uh, open mobile, use mobile, and they can practice anytime, <coughs> anywhere, waiting their numbers in the hospital, in the bank, they can browse, they can use it. So this has really play, played wonders. So this is my recommendation that all the universities and in collaboration with uh, mobile technology companies, they should design the courses according to the screen so that we can benefit the learners at the maximum level. Uh, thank you very much for this uh, patient listening. Questions? Yeah, I have a question. Uh, Professor, uh, you mentioned that uh, 
thank you for your inviting uh, presentation. Now, do you think there is other factors that are affecting the the achievement of mobile learners as opposed to the achievement of the non-mobile learners? Yeah, actually this idea came to me that when I found the students, they are using mobile technology frequently, but not for the academic purposes. So if the teach learning materials are prepared and uploaded on mobile, so this will avert the misuse of mobile and the learners can make the best use of the time. Mm -hmm. So it helps to consume the time and yeah, for yeah. the good. Yes, right. They can make the best use of the time. Any other questions, please? Any other questions? Thank you very much. Thank you, Mosfet. Have a nice presentation. Okay. Thank you. Do you have a certificate for you? Absolutely. Okay. Um, our next speaker is... Uh,